Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to see whether it's possible to mix these two rather dissimilar metals together. So here I have a piece of copper, and right here I have a piece of an aluminum. Now at 550 degrees centigrade, aluminum melts, and copper will dissolve in aluminum, up to 5.6% copper. And then if that mixture is cooled, a a crystalline substance known as copper aluminide or CuAl2 will crystallize out. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to melt copper and, uh, and then dissolve the aluminum in the copper. So we're doing it from a different way. We're going to have uh, molten copper and then dissolve the aluminum in the copper and I'm going to try and add approximately two parts of aluminum to the copper mixture. So let's fire up this induction heater and get started. First of all, let's add some borax. Just adding a pinch of borax. You can just start to see it glowing in there. We'll wait till our copper melts, then we'll start to pour in, we'll start to put in this aluminum rod to dissolve it in the molten copper. It's looking pretty hot. We're drawing about 15 amps out of the mains. The copper's already melting. Let's readjust the light level. Now let's add the aluminum. Here's the aluminum melted. My crucible unfortunately is tilting. Just a little bit more aluminum. We'll stir it around with a little bit of this copper to try and mix it. I'm going to detune and unplug. Okay, it's off. Let's unplug and let it cool slowly. The fire blanket surrounding that crucible should allow it to cool slowly. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's cooled down, and now I'm gonna take the alloy out of the crucible. I'm just gonna break the crucible off because it's already thinned down quite a bit to the point where I can't really use it. So here is the alloy. It's kind of heavy and it's lost its copper color. Look at that. It's got a silvery color. I'm going to shine it up. Well, my attempts to cut it with a hacksaw were unsuccessful. It's extremely hard and brittle and it actually blunted the blade of this, this hacksaw so I could not cut it. And you can see where, and this is where it uh, chipped off. And it has an interesting kind of, uh, appearance to it. It almost looks metalloid so, and it's, it's pretty heavy. So this stuff is aluminum mixed with copper and I think I got the ratio about right of um, two aluminum to one copper. So this could be, you know, part of that um, compound copper aluminide or CuAl2. Who knows? But it's, uh, I'm going to do some experiments with it 
to see how it behaves, if it's like a regular metal or if it behaves like a intermetallic compound. So um, thought you'd find that interesting. Um, never thought you could mix those two metals, but it looks like they did mix pretty well. And uh, very interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Peace out, guys.